Alright, hello YouTube once again. So, it's been a busy day today. I, uh, I actually did a video yesterday of just doing a brief overview of some of these electronics. And as you can tell by how bright it is in there, I got the LEDs hooked up. I did two 8 inch rails, which is hard to see because they're lit up, but you see it here. It's an 8 inch rail. I did a 12 inch rail up top there, and then I did another 8 inch rail over here. And they're 24 volt, wired right into the board, so when you turn the power on, lights come on. And then I went out this morning and I got this awesome uh, tool cabinet. Put the top one there, it was perfect for the printer. And then you can see what I liked about it. Open this up, I got my filament in there, got my tape. And it's mobile too, so if the wife needs me to move it or put the tools in there, really nice. 99 bucks at uh, Lowe's. Oh, I bought a temp gun today too. You see down here it says the temperature is supposed to be, it says it's 114 for the platform, but I don't know how accurate this gun is. It's close in spots. And then right now I'm actually printing. That's a camera mount for I have a Logitech um, Logitech something. It's like a 620 or something, but the tripod doesn't do it justice, so the mount actually mounts right on the front here, and it'll be perfect angle right inside. I'll do a video of that when I mount it. I actually found that on Thingiverse, uh, and I just typed in Logitech camera mount, and uh, sure enough, somebody already had this idea, so I didn't have to make one myself. So it's actually, it's what, 67% uh, done? So about another hour or so. I don't have a camera mount. I actually have a Ustream channel I've been doing live. I come over here. Uh, actually, on my Ustream channel, I, I have most of this stuff over there. I kind of did a little walkthrough of this yesterday. I got these awesome cones. Ah. Dual extrusion, two colors. And you see here, running my Affinity. Now I've been using MakerWare and I've been using Replicator. Uh, Replicator's been a bit better as far as slicing it and all that. I'll actually show you this here. see there it says Logitech camera mount and it was this one right here so it's thing number one five nine eight seven seven this iPhone stinks it doesn't focus No, it doesn't focus. But anyway, I mean, at least you can see the picture. See here. <laughs> I 
And you can see here where I drug it in a replicator. And you probably won't be able to see this either, but I'll show you my settings I printed it at. Alright, so I'll tell you what I printed it at. <laughs> um, I did full support. Uh, I did object infill at 7%. I did a layer height of 0.2%. Uh, one shell, uh, moving at a feed rate of 50 millimeters a second with a travel feed of 60 millimeters a second and a print temperature of 220 C. And then the print bed, uh, I actually did it 110. And I do the estimate here. You can see it's got the two washers laying on either side. And it says it takes two hours and 19 minutes. So we'll see. And then once I get that all hooked up, I mean, props to this guy that drew it all. All I did was, you know, print it. And I'm going to use it. So I guess uh, glory to him. Anyway, just wanted to give you a brief overview. And uh, let you see CTC 3D printer. Bought off of eBay. Cheapest dual extruder I could find, 750 bucks, and uh, prints awesome. I would definitely recommend it.